I'm Marshall. Um, I wrote a, uh, a library called uh, Boost Algorithm several years ago, and this is a story of one little bit of that algorithm. Okay, back in 2012, I implemented a set of simple hex encode, unencode routines for Boost Algorithm, and down there in the, in the bowels of the library, there was this little algorithm, that, this little function that took one little, uh, one character and turned it into a number. And this is the history of that routine. And it's a story of unending strife. <laughs> this is what I wrote. Hex care to int. If it's 0 through 9, return 0 through 9. If it's A through F, return 10 through 15. If it's not A through F or 0 through 9, throw an exception. Simple, easy. I wrote it. I compiled it. Compiled the first time. I tested it. It passed the test first time. Real simple algorithm. Um, the slide software I use to display this has substituted the single quotes with fancy quotes, but ignore that. <laughs> And I said, great, and I checked it in, and I was happy. <laughs> and then I started getting bug reports. Control reaches the end of a non-void function. Whiskey, tango, foxtrot. Where? Where does it reach the end of the function? <laughs> Compiler's flat out wrong here. Okay, we won't name the compiler, but it comes from a uh, company in Redmond. <laughs> so fine, there, fixed. Compilers shut up and we're good. Oh, wait. <laughs> this, is, this is real. This is a compiler being correct. There is actually unreachable code there. Different compiler. Different compiler. OK, that was version one. I'm not showing you version two. Version three. Version three, OK, now it's a template because I'm trying to work with wide streams. Fine, I pass something in. I cast it to a character. We do the same thing. But now we have a local variable, retval. We have a, um, uh, we have a whole bunch of else's, right? Da, 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 da. We don't have return zero anymore. Hey, we're good. Um, oh, no, wait. In the caller, it says, I'm sorry, you can't assign this unsigned. And somehow we got to unsigned care, to I don't remember why. Probably because of narrowing warnings. Anyway, no, no, no. The compiler says, you can't convert from a retval to an unsigned care because you know why? Because that's a narrowing conversion, and it might overflow. <laughs> I'm sorry, 0 through 15 fit in an unsigned care. Um, I'm really confident of that. And so I asked the person who, 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 um, who submitted this bug report, this was a little warning, I said, so if you write short s equals 3 times 6, does the compiler complain about that? Because 3 times 6 is an integer, and that's a narrowing conversion to put it in a short. Well, no. OK, so don't. Uh, but OK, fine. Somebody did this. I don't know who. They added an incorrect cast to care instead of unsigned care to <laughs> shut up the warning. And it did shut up the warning. And I'm like, oh, come on, guys. And then somebody sent me this and said, here, this, this gets rid of all the narrowing warnings. I'm like, no. No, I'm not doing this. No. And I said, please report this to compiler vendor get them to fix their compiler. Um, and so the moral of my story is you can go nuts trying to get all the warnings from many, many different compilers out of your code. Protect the integrity of your code. You know, Get rid of warnings whenever possible. But please, for the sake of God, don't do this. <laughs> By the way, I, I did not do this. I told the person who submitted this to me, no, we're not doing this. I'm sorry, your compiler is just flat out wrong. And I got my share of abuse for that. And that's the end.